What's up guys, welcome to another FIFA Ultimate Team video and today we are looking at Player Moments Leon Goretzka's 91 rated central midfielder SBC and it's honouring his contribution to the hashtag We Kit Corona charity initiative which is very nice indeed. From the face of the card he looks brilliant and the first thing I've noticed is there is no time limit on this SBC which is fantastic. It looks like he's going to be one of those uh, player SBCs which is very nice indeed. Let's see exactly what this card has to offer us, see how much the SBC is going to cost us and see what chem styles are probably going to work best with this new card. Uh, so let's get right into this. Look at these work rates. He's got a high attack, medium defense work rates, very nice work rates. Not the best for a central midfielder. You probably want high highs in both of those categories. However, as a cam said to forward, those are probably very nice work rates indeed. In terms of his skill moves, three star skill moves is not amazing but it's passable. Four star weak foot though, it is nice to see indeed. In terms of his attributes, his pace is really, really good for a central midfielder or anyone in that center park role. Uh, you're talking like center forwards, cams, central midfielders, CDMs, very nice pace for one of those indeed. Shooting stats, very nice across the board. Attack position 92, finishing 88, shot power 92, long shots 97, very, very good stats there. His volleys and penalties are not the best. However, I wouldn't really worry about these. I don't think they're going to have too much uh, in-game effect given the rest of the stats look that amazing. His passing stats as well look very good across the board. Vision 91, short pass 93, long pass 87, curve of 84, and free kick accuracy and crossing both at 83. Very, very nice stats here. His dribbling stats as well look absolutely banging. That composure of 89 is very nice. Dribbling of 91 is very good. Ball control of 94 and that the reactions of 94. Very, very good stats indeed. His balance though at 78 is not the best. It's okay. The agility of 85 is nice as well, but you probably want to make that a little bit higher. Defensively as well, Goretzka looks very, very good here with interceptions of 88, his heading accuracy of 89, that defensive awareness of 80, stand tackle of 82 and slide tackle of 81 is very good very nice in terms of physical stats here he's very good across these as well aggression of 87 strength 81 stamina 93 and jumping of 80 all good in terms of traits he has no usable traits for the user which completely sucks but ea love wiping your noses in it with the cpu traits that he contains which just sucks uh, but all in all this looks like a brilliant brilliant card indeed um i can only imagine he's going to cost quite a bit to do i can already see you need to provide free squads in order to complete this sbc you're looking at a germany player with a team of the week 86 rated 70 chemistry you get prime X players pack in return bundesliga player team of the week 86 rated squad and 70 chemistry you get small rare gold players pack in return and then an 87 rated squad with a team of the week 65 chemistry you get a rare election players pack in return uh all in all i don't think the packs you're getting in return are particularly great but then i guess that's kind of the trade-off in order to obtain such a brilliant card like this goreska uh, who looks absolutely immense in terms of how much that is coming in at pure liquid coins you're looking at about 540,000 coins on playstation that is a lot and around about the 510 mark on xbox uh, i reckon you can certainly do this a lot cheaper especially if you're doing the libsud grind uh, and just working your way through that and bringing all those 88s along that will certainly help uh, massively reduce the amount this sbc will cost you in order to complete but all in all <laughs> You know, he's, he's an immense card. Really, really good card. Probably worth doing, especially if you can bring that price down in terms of how much it just costs straight liquid. Uh, I reckon he's going to be a really, really good player within game, especially it, when you grind to him. You're going to be very, very happy in order to obtain this particular card. Now, in terms of chem stars, uh, I think my number one pick for a chem star here is going to be an engine. He just gets that real nice boost in pace, bringing it up to an acceleration of 97, sprint speed of 90. His passing stats become immense with a 96 vision. Free kick actually goes up to a 93, crossing 88, short passing 98, long pass 97. Really fantastic stats here to complement those really good shooting stats he already has. And then most importantly, his dribbling sees a nice big boost as well with his agility going up to 90, that balance becoming an 88. His reactions go up to 99, ball control and dribbling also become 99s as well. His composure doesn't get touched with this particular chem style, but it's still pretty damn good composure at 89. So all in all, I think that's a really nice boost card. Uh, another two 
chem styles I probably recommend uh, is probably a maestro number one mainly because you see extra little boost in shooting bringing his positioning up to 97 shot power to 99 long shots to a 99 and volley's got up to an 84 as well doesn't see any improvements in finishing though just to bear that in mind his passing stats go up as well very nicely indeed that short passing becomes a 99 vision becomes 96 free kicks accuracy goes up to a 93 and his long passing goes up to a 92 as well and also he sees some nice boost within dribbling stats as well with his agility going to 90 reactions ball control and dribbling all going up to 99 as well but doesn't see any boost within balance with composure which is a little bit unfortunate the other one one I'd be talking about is a sniper so this would immediately mean that you're probably going to be looking to put him within a cam center forward role or even just as a striker to be honest he can play pretty much anywhere on the pitch um here he sees big boost within his shooting his positioning goes up to a 97 that finishing becomes 99 absolutely fantastic his shot power is already good as it is at 92 long shots are already brilliant as they are at 97 he's Volleys goes up to an 89, his penalties go up to an 85, so it just has fantastic finishing stats. He also gets some really big boosts within dribbling, which I think would be definitely worthwhile on this particular card. The agility becomes a 95, he's going to feel really light on the ball, really light when turning, fantastic stuff there. Balance goes up to an 88, reactions, ball control and dribbling go to a 99, and he also sees a plus 5 in composure, bringing it up to a 94 as well. So all in all, those are probably the best free chem stars to use with this particular card i think he's a fantastic card he's definitely someone i would consider grinding towards um when i feel the need to actually do it i'm pretty happy with my squad at the moment just going ahead and you know just picking up your players here and there through sbcs and this will probably be one of those ones that i may pick up a little bit later within the cycle as we go along so people i would say do this sbc if you can complete it do it for as cheap as possible don't spend 550k coins on this particular card while he is exceptional seems a little bit expensive in my book but you never know he might be worth more than that if he was just a, a tradable card on the open market anyway guys that's going to do it for today's video please leave your comments below let me know what you think of this goreska card i think he's sick um also please remember to like this video subscribe to my channel and until next time guys i'll check you out laters